Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your August 2021 general readings. We are looking at the first two weeks of August from the 1st through the 15th. And this reading is for the air sign of Aquarius. Welcome everyone. Thanks for taking the time to watch this and any of the channels on my, the videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, for watching, sharing, liking, hitting that subscribe button, uh, reaching out for personal readings, your donations, feedback, comments, it is all welcome and appreciated. Thank you. So this reading is for the air sign of Aquarius for the first two weeks of August 2021. That's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Aquarius. It's also relevant if you're cross-watching for an Aquarian. If you know all of your signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, watch them all for additional insight and perspective. And if any of it resonates enough that you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, perhaps take a deeper look at something for yourself or maybe as a gift for someone else, uh, you can click on the description link below. Click on the arrow that will show you my contact details, my email address, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. Feel free to email me directly. I'd be delighted to hear from you. I can usually respond within the same day with more information. I do offer... Um, a wide range of readings and uh, I do readings full-time it's all that I do so I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling so send me a message if you'd like all right Aquarius let's see what the first two weeks of August look like for you I am using the tarot of dreams and clarifying with the radiant writer weight okay Aquarius we begin with the Knight of Cups. An offer or opportunity could be love, love, support, encouragement. The Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups is a great knight. He's in love with love itself. He comes charging in, bearing his heart in his sleeve and, you know, cheesy poetry and serenading you under the windows. Sometimes he has a little bit of difficulty in long-term follow through because, you know, after the, the, the moonlight uh, dies down and real life issues come up, he sometimes has difficulty with that follow through, but still a lovely energy. The Knight of Cups with the Ace of Coins. Uh, an opportunity to move, relocate, a new job, a new project. I just heard this phrase, come live with me and be my love. <laughs> Interesting. We have the high priest, the priestess here, also known as the high priestess in other decks. Instincts, intuition, um, could be a mentor or advisor of some kind. The, the high priestess represents using your intuitive sense, not your head and not your surface emotions, but your intuitive sense of knowing. Even, even if exterior people, places, or situations pull you in a different direction and try to tell you something different. The high priestess represents kind of being in touch with that sort of spiritual cable and knowing that something is the way it needs to be. The priestess is with the ace of wands, exciting new beginnings, beginnings of desire. Hmm. A new project, a new job. It's, there's definitely an opportunity or an offer here for a new beginning. We have the empress might be conception for some of you. The Empress is the traditional Earth Mother. She is the symbol of fertility and Taurus, all about planting seeds. It could be finding out you're pregnant or giving birth. It, it represents giving birth to something new, whether that's an actual physical giving birth or finding out you're pregnant or a new project. It's the green light to go ahead. But it can also represent taking time to know who you are and what your self-worth and value is and treating yourself as such being you know a bit self-indulgent you know going out and getting uh whatever is your form of self-indulgence a massage a mani-pedi a, uh, a great dinner a bubble bath and a bottle of champagne i mean you know all of the above something like that it's a card that represents um, taking care of yourself in kind of an indulgent and even an abundant way but giving birth to something new as well with the four of swords withdrawing temporarily from a conflict or a challenge because you feel tired overwhelmed exhausted you need to rest you need to recuperate you need to perhaps gain a different perspective or seek some advice and guidance yeah i feel like what you're doing during this period of time and maybe even for a little bit longer aquarius is is taking care of yourself taking better care of yourself uh, maybe allowing even other people to kind of pamper you a bit or indulging in some self-pampering and stuff because 
the four of swords indicates that you've been through something and you're tired and you need to kind of step back and get some recuperation and recovery space. Um, and again, for some of you, this might be physical. It might be you're recovering from some kind of physical thing or injury or giving birth or something of that sort. There is an offer opportunity here. Hmm. From the bottom of the oh, from the bottom of the deck for overall energy, we have the three of swords, a cart of heartache, heartbreak, uh, emotional pain, sometimes breakup or separation or estrangement. Hmm. Maybe the offer or offer, maybe somebody has left, but they've said, come and join me. But there's some implication, you know, it's interesting. Either I'm reading for two different Aquariuses or there's two things going on here. It may be that what being what's being offered because it's the Knight of Cups and not the King of Cups or something, it may be that it's simply not good enough for the Empress, right? Because here's the thing, the offer or opportunity, if it's coming from a specific person, they're being represented by the Knight of Cups. They might be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or they just might be manifesting like the Knight of Cups. And you're the Empress, regardless of whether you're female or male. This is a general reading, so you can't be too specific with these things. The Empress would never be with the Knight of Cups. The Empress would, it, it's unlikely she'd be with a king, although she could be with a king. Because her natural mate is the Emperor, at the very least a king, not a knight. So it might be that this is an ongoing thing too and the Empress is finally saying, you know what, you were supposed to be a king, you were supposed to be an emperor, you can't keep coming across like a knight, I need more than that, I need something that's long term and stable and lasting that I don't have to worry about because that's what my worth is, that's what my value is. You keep offering these, charging in here like a knight and offering these aces, but what I really want is a king or an emperor to come and offer me a ten. Right, a ten of pentacles, a ten of cups, not these, you know, in terms of a romantic relationship. Now, let's clarify and see if we can get a clearer picture here. Clarify the three of swords. Yeah, fundamentally, whether this is in the romantic area of your life or friendship or work or something of that sort, sometimes the subject matter isn't completely clear. Um, but regardless of what area of your life, this is in what it feels like Aquarius is that you're being represented by the Empress who deserves nothing less than what the Emperor would give her or him right but you're receiving smaller offers from somebody who's coming across as a knight it feels like somebody's making an offer that just isn't good enough it doesn't have enough stability or grounding or long-term you know, energy. Clarify the Three of Swords. Yeah, the Four of Cups. There's an offer being made and you're not sure if you want to take it or not because you have three cups. You're the Empress, you know, and somebody's offering you one little cup. These aces. The six of pentacles it's not good enough this is the breadcrumb card this is you know whatever tarot deck you're using the six of pentacles usually shows some representation of one person who has a lot to give but they're only doling out a little bit at a time when they want to and it's convenient for them even though they could give in an equal way i mean this is about paying attention to the balance of giving and receiving and here this person's being given to he's giving one pentacles to these two people that are actually on their knees and then the Five of Pentacles, insufficiency and lack, feeling abandoned, rejected, shut out, not good enough. This is insufficiency and lack with the Six of Pentacles, which is often about paying attention and imbalance of giving and receiving. It's not good enough. Whatever the offer here is not good enough. There is some implication here with the Three of Swords. This is not a new situation. It may be an ongoing situation, like an ongoing relationship where like you're being the Empress, you're devoting all this, and, and they're just being a knight or a page. They're offering you you know, kind of a fraction of what you really deserve and your worth dictates, right? Clarify. 
clarify the Empress. The Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability and security. This is not having to worry about next tomorrow or next week or next month or next year. This is, you know, having enough in the bank. This is having a relationship that you feel secure. You don't you don't worry about whether or not you're going to be with them next year. You know, Ten of Cups, happy home, marriage, stability. This is this is having the whole picture, the having the whole picture and the security to know that this is the way it's going to be for you know the rest of your life. This is what you want. This is what you need. This is what you deserve. The Empress would settle for nothing less. Clarify the High Priestess. The Hierophant and the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is about an end and surrendering to that end. Tens represent cycle ending. It looks like this has been a painful one. It's about surrendering to the end so that a new date can dawn so that you can begin again. And it, this can indicate that there may be a fair amount of pain. I mean, we have the Three of Swords as well as the Ten of Swords. There can be a fair amount of, of pain um, and regret in this ending, but it, you need to surrender to it because in order to have something new, um, you have to end something. Something has to end. You have to close the door on something so that you can walk into something new. And the Hierophant and the High Priestess says you know this. You know that this has to happen. In order for you to have any kind of a new beginning and walk into a path that will lead to this Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Because what you're getting now is crumbs. What you're getting now, I mean, God bless the pages and the knights, right? Um, but you're the Empress and you deserve to have an offer. You deserve to have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, not the Ace, not the, you know, you d deserve to have somebody offer it to you that can actually back that up. And it doesn't look like this person or this situation can. And so this is about knowing that and surrendering to the pain of it and surrendering to the loss of it um, and going through a healing period, Four of Swords. So that on the other side of this, you can have that new beginning and you can move into a path that has your Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles because this isn't it. And I think you know this. I think you've known this for some time. It's just, of course, very difficult to let go. We often stay with people or in places and situations because of the history that pulls on us, not because we genuinely feel we belong there, but because the, the, the sheer time and weight and accumulation of time and experiences good and bad and all of this kind of stuff that history has weight whether it's in a love relationship whether it's in a job you know you've been through a lot together you've seen things come and go and stuff and the weight of that history sometimes keeps us um, that obligation or that sense of wanting to be loyal to that history keeps us in situations long past the time where we should let go of them you know uh, and this is about surrendering to that so let's end with any guidance, advice, messages for Aquarius. I know, it feels like kind of a sad reading. It is, it is, but again, in order to have this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, um, it has to come from a place that can actually provide that. I mean, this Knight of Cups, it's a lovely offer, but the Knight of Cups can't take it to a 10, you know, not, not for you. It's like not mismatch, right? All right, any final messages or guidance? I hope that's understandable. I hope I made myself clear there. Yeah, so I think you're kind of going through this and you're thinking about that and you're feeling it and you're walking through it and, and you're also taking some time out. Maybe there's some separation between the two of you right now you're you in this situation or you're just taking some time out and you're feeling kind of sad and and you know take care of yourself indulge in, in some things for yourself you know that'll make you feel better 
get better rest and food and sleep and indulge in, you know, some things that just make you feel good. For no other reason than that, they make you feel good or make you feel beautiful or handsome, whatever. <clears throat> Ten of Wands and Ace of Pentacles, yeah. This is about surrendering to the end, laying down the burden. You have to have the end so that you can have the new beginning. Whatever this new beginning is, whether it's love, work, friends. Uh, sometimes the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Coins is moving and relocating. It might be that as well. Whatever the situation is, you're being asked to surrender to the ending. Don't let the weight of the history in this keep you there uh, because it's also keeping you from your ten of coins and ten of cups all right Aquarius I will leave it there those are your messages for the first two weeks of August I hope that it was helpful and useful for you um, perhaps already validated what it looks like you're already feeling and you already know uh, so again if this reading resonated with you or if any of them do and you'd like to take a deeper look at something reach out for a personal reading for yourself or perhaps as a gift for someone else click on the description link below the little arrow for contact details email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com i'd be delighted to hear from you i will see you all in a couple of weeks for the august uh, general mid-month readings and until then be blessed stay safe and well and i hope to see you back here again soon bye-bye